as you know, the manager of the building. He has been trying to explain himself. People have been holding him responsible once it was learned that the proper permits were not gotten for this to be a residential building and that right. there was overcrowding. So let me play for you the response that he gave yesterday. Okay. okay. Listen to this. Am I the man who should be held accountable? Did I build something that with the, with the, I mean, what am I going to say to that? Should I be held accountable? I can barely stand here right now. Say, I'm only here to say one thing, that I am incredibly sorry, and that everything that I did was to make this a stronger, more beautiful community, and to bring people together. People didn't walk through those doors because it was a horrible place. People didn't seek us out to perform and express themselves because it was a horrible place. Now, he didn't live there. Should he be held responsible? Of course. He knew. Who doesn't know? He's not a child. You were saying that it's outrageous how the, how the manager is responding. What can he do? At this point, I don't know. Make amends and take responsibility. You're wrong. That's it. Take responsibility. Whatever happened, happens. Now, Emily. We're so sorry for your loss. Thank you for sharing these pictures and this story, this personal story about your son with us. Um, we were praying for you. You can't believe, you can't imagine the loss. You can't, you can't imagine the loss. Alex's father's totally, totally devastated. He, he can't even come out. I'm the only one who can, and I only do that because I have to. I have to, it, it's, it's horrible. I lost my only child. We're so sorry. Nothing can replace that. My granddaughters don't have a father. My husband doesn't have a son. My family doesn't have Alex. The community doesn't have Alex. He touched many people's hearts and lives.